The Diamond Jubilee Anniversary Celebration of Right Honorable Mulikata Konde Adeola, MAA or MA Square, former Nigeria's majority leader of the House of Reps and the first woman to serve in that capacity on the African continent, began on a prayerful note in her Maitama residence in Abuja, the nation's capital, on Wednesday, the 11th of November, 2020. The celebrant, her children, family members and close friends were joined by some clergymen who offered special prayers for Allah's continued protection and guardians over her and her entire household. Prayers were offered by members of the Ansaruddin Society of Nigeria led by Dr. Musa Olaofe, the Imam of the group. <laughs> Present at a special session where the elder sister of the celebrant Dr. Fatima Bamidili, a former Federal Permanent Secretary, former Deputy Governor of Oyo State, Alaji Azim Balarumi, Engineer Didi Adeniji, former Chairman of FEMA. The 60th birthday anniversary dinner and book lunch of Right Honorable Mulikata Konde Adiola took place at the Blue Velvet Maquis, Cardinal Park, Kitwe Street, Wu Season 4, Abuja. There were goodwill messages and the cutting of the birthday cake, conducted by Mrs. Eki Gbenedyong, former First Lady of Edo State. The chairman of the occasion was Right Honorable Emika Hedioha, former Deputy Speaker of Nigeria's House of Reps. The highlight of the occasion were the review of the book, written by the celebrant, titled Driven by Passion, and the launch of the book. The book was launched by Right Honorable Aminu Waziri Tambuwal, former Speaker of the House of Reps and Governor of Sokoto State. With the very impressive array of the high flyers in the society, seven and past from all corners of the divide, the political, economic, government, business, social and corporate sectors, who honored Honorable Mulikata Konde Adeola at her birthday, it's safe to conclude that both in and out of the corridors of power, Honorable Mulikata Konde Adola is still highly respected and loved across the country. The heavyweight dignitaries list from the political sector include names like former governors Babangida Liu of Niger State, Rabiu Musa Kwankwasu of Kanu State, Liele Muke of Cross River State, Honorable Waziri Aminu Tambuwal of Sokoto State, and the former Deputy Speaker of the House of Reps, Honorable Emika Hedioha, who was the chairman of the occasion. Nigerian women from all strata indeed showed up in their beauty, elegance, and brilliance for Honorable Mulikata Konde Adeola, a woman who combines all these qualities in abundance. They all appeared in the glittering black with a touch of white, color code stipulated for the upscale event. The impressive roll call of the women barrier breakers include Right Honorable Patricia Lubumete, the first female speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Minister of Women Affairs, Dame Pauline Tallinn. There were also two former ministers of women affairs, Hajia Inachiroma and Hajia Zainab Maina. Edo State former First Lady Mrs. Eki Gbenedio still talking about absolute legislative backing for Honorable Mulikata Konde Adeola. We had Senator Zainab Kure, Folashade Grace Bent, and Fatimo Raji Razaki. From the business sector was Haji Abola Shagaya, who is proudly diamond age plus herself. From the government sector were past high flyers like Dr. James Kayode Nayeju former Accountant General of the Federation, former Permanent Secretary, now politician Dr. God Nozigali, and 70-plus looking 60, Dr. Adeguruye. Also there was Senator Engineer Benubi, the Special Messenger of Ibo Nation, a pan-Nigerian politician, 
and Prince Bessiolatolo, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, who was making his first contact with Abuja in years. Honorable Chinda Kinsley Deco, representing River State, who missed the House leadership position by the Whiskers, and fellow sister politician, now in the Red Chambers, Senator Joslyn Apiafi, who served in the House with a celebrant, gave their full legislative support to the woman of the moment, Honorable Mulikata Konde Adeola, without any doubt at all. Honorable Mulikata Konde Adeola was clearly overwhelmed and suffocated with genuine love by all Nigerians. NTA legend and Amazon of screen, Mojima Konjola, who was the compare of the event, and Eugenia Abu, who was classmate of the celebrant in secondary school in Kaduna, also showed up big time for a good friend and sister who has made all of them very proud. Prince Akamode from Kugi Kingdom also honored the celebrant. After the opening prayers, the chairman of the event gave his opening remarks, where he congratulated the celebrant for the new age of maturity and for holding forth steadfastly over the years for the women as a worthy role model. At some point in time in the history of our lives and history of the National Assembly, we appeared to be adversaries. But it didn't take us two weeks to make up and appreciate that our strength lies in our unity. And for the four years, God gave us the privilege to pioneer the affairs and to lead the house. We found Monikat to be a very reliable, hands-on person. She added the favor we needed. The speaker and myself were male with other members in leadership. But she was one lady who had the capacity to turn us her way all the time. And so I would say she has a way of driving you to go her direction. And so that's why I wasn't surprised when I came here, I saw a missed bag in this hall from various political cultures, various um, ethnic nationalities. That is essentially Mulika for you. A Kaduna girl, yet an Ogumosho woman. But to us, she is a uh, Muli Muli. I'll say on behalf of our class, on behalf of all of us who have had the privilege to have worked closely with her, I have the singular honor to welcome all of you, and I'm sure you're going to have a very wonderful evening. And to you, Malikat, we can only say God will continue to strengthen you. And we pray that we'll all be alive to celebrate you at 70, celebrate you at 80, and celebrate you at 90, and looking for many more years to come. I'm happy everybody is there with smiles. That is what the day calls for. Congratulations and welcome on board. This was followed by a flurry of goodwill messages where a lot was said about the respectful and admirable disposition of the women of the moment towards everyone, no matter their status in life. They said she has harvested a great deal from the huge investment in how to nurture friendship and relationship, which she had guarded very jealously over the decades and still counting. I'm so happy that I'm here. And going by the quality and people I have seen here to celebrate with my sister, I believe this is our true reflection. Let me, at this point, on behalf of my humble self, members of my entourage, congratulate you and wish you well, and wish you many years of good health, and many years of achievement in this country. But as a sister, I don't think you can wish for a better person. She's, uh, maybe because our parents died a long time ago, so we know we don't have anybody but ourselves. So we depend on ourselves 100% either way. She's very loving. She's very loyal. 
She is involved in a lot of charitable endeavors. She has a foundation that has helped a lot of people in Obomosho and around. She can't turn her face away from somebody who needs help. She's very helpful. If you need help and she knows and she comes to her attention, even without asking her, she would assist you. We wish her a happy birthday. I pray for her that she'll have a very long life in good health and she'll go from strength to strength. She'll continue to do good things that God and her parents and herself will be proud of. Today we are celebrating a great woman, a woman that deserves to be celebrated. And I want to wish you all what you wish for yourself. Honorable Munikat, may God spare your life to celebrate another 60 years in good health. May you live to see your children's children. May you live to age gracefully. Our sister, we are celebrating you today because you fought the battle and we all want to have today to the glory of Almighty God. To be a leader in the house is a pleasure thing, but it is hard work. She has really worked hard to act. I wish each and every, no, or every one of us here this evening a pleasant evening. God bless you all. We thank God for her life. She, like I said, represents what we should all strive for. Girl child education in Nigeria. So I join all those who prayed either to see you as the governor of Oyo State or as vice president, but I do know that you will continue to play a prominent role in Nigerian leadership and politics. In the biography of Honorable Mulikata Kondiadiola, read by her close friend, Mrs. Abimbola Salu Hudeni, Commissioner in the National Population Commission, representing Lagos State. Quite a lot was revealed about her journey to her present position, a consummate lawyer of over 30 years standing, a state politician born of parents from Obumosho in Oyo State. But she grew up in Kaduna. She's an alumnus of Queen Amina College, Kaduna, Amadu Bello University, Zaria and the University of Lagos, where she bagged her first and second degrees in law. She has effectively represented her constituency in Ubumosho, or your state of Nigeria, and secured job opportunities for over 200 constituents. Between 2015 to 2019, Honorable Mulikata Kondiadiola, OFR, implemented over 3,000 constituency projects and personal empowerment with over 2,000 beneficiaries. Through the Jokodolu Foundation she instituted in 2012, she has given out 200 scholarships to students in tertiary institutions. The Jokodolu Foundation, which is primarily for educational and economic empowerment projects, have provided projects in skill acquisition for women in sewing, hairdressing, catering, as well as agricultural value chain trainings. A published author of three books, Honorable Mulikata Kondiadiola is a member of the Nigerian Bar Association and the International Federation of Women Lawyers. Honorable Mulikata Kondiadiola is articulate, consistent, determined, and persuasive. The book, Driven by Passion, written by the celebrant Honorable Mulikata Kondiadiola, was reviewed by Dr. Abiola Kiyode. It was launched by Governor Aminu Waziri Tambuwal of Sokoto State who was the Speaker of the House of Representatives when the celebrant was the House Majority Leader. On behalf of the 7th House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, we are supporting the launch of this book. 359 of us, minus of course, Mulikat Akande Adiola, those living and those who have joined the Lord, who are not with us, and we will have mercy on them. We are launching this with about 10 million naira. Later on, friends, colleagues, and family members took turns to launch the book. The goodwill message of former President Goodluck Jonathan on the occasion of the 60th birthday of Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adiola was read by the compere of the event, 
Mujima Konjola. The toast was proposed by Senator Josin Apiafe, representing Rivers West and chairman of the Senate Committee on Women Affairs. I'd like everyone to join me to spell the word love. So, shall we go? L. I can't hear you. L. O. V. V. Charge your glasses. Let us toast to this beautiful grandmother, mother, outstanding friend. Can you have your glasses charged, please? Let's give seven hearty cheers to this wonderful friend of, of ours. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. Hip hip hip. The program ended with a vote of thanks by the celebrant. I would like to especially thank my elder sister, Haji Apatima Bamudele, who has been my rock since our parents passed, as well as my other sisters and brothers for their unwavering love. To them, I have always been Mulika, the sister who they played with and teased mercilessly when we were growing up in Kaduna. It has been extremely refreshing to have a space where all the titles and veneration are stripped away. And this is what my family have always provided. I want to especially thank my children, Dami, Lido, Tunde, and Ore, and their husbands for giving me peace of mind and for making me proud all the time. I am also thankful to my grandchildren, Abimbola, Inyoluwa, Jamiloju, and Oluemi, who bring smiles to my face and laughter to my heart with their antics. I can tell you this evening I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the people here because it is one thing to invite people to occasions and it's another thing for them to, you know, personally attend. So I'm indeed grateful to all of you and I want to thank you most sincerely from the bottom of my heart. It was followed by dancing, some video and photo sessions with a celebrant. <laughs> The grand finale of the Diamond Jubilee Anniversary Celebration of Honorable Mulikata Konde Adiola took place in her hometown in Ogbomosha, Oyo State on Saturday, the 14th of November, 2020. Leading the dignitaries list was Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State and his wife, the Deputy Governor, Engineer Rauf Olanio, and the Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, Honorable Debo Ogundoi. Also in attendance to honor the celebrant, were prominent politicians in the southwest and other parts of the country. There was an impressive attendance of royal fathers from Oyo State and other parts of southwest Nigeria. The event formally began with the opening prayer by Alaji Harunobala or by Sabo of Ogbomosho. Again, political associates, friends and family members of the celebrant took to the stage to give their goodwill messages. Here again, it was eulogies, encomiums, and accolades galore in praise of Honorable Mulikat Akonde Adeola's very simple, easygoing, but very fair and firm appraisal of issues, never given to emotions on any matter. They all prayed for God's continued protection and guidance over her. His Royal Majesty, Oba Sande Oladakbo Yedino, Onikbetu of Ijero, spoke on behalf of all the traditional rulers in Oyo State. His Royal Majesty, Oba Sande Oladakbo Yedino, Onikbetu of Ijero, spoke on behalf of all the traditional rulers in Oyo State. 
I want you to see your birthday today as a challenge to do more than how you have been doing to before. I want you to see your birthday today as a, uh, a, a renewal of your commitment and your pledge to uplift the Tantan children, more especially in the Gumosho area, in the Oyo State and in Nigeria in general. On behalf of all the real fathers in the uh, Ogumosho South local government, and on behalf of my friend, my colleague, the Aire Ofiki, from uh, Atisbo local government, we want to wish you a very happy birthday, and we pray that you will celebrate more. Uh, I want you to just be satisfied with just 120 years. After that, you can decide to leave. Thank you and God bless you. The cutting of the birthday cake and toast to the celebrant came in quick succession. To her good health, long life, she will celebrate many more of her birthday in the land of the living, Ita Allah. In his own remarks, Governor Shei Makinde congratulated the celebrant for being a very good ambassador of your state and an excellent example of all the good virtues of leadership. We, on behalf of uh, the government and the people of your state, I want to wish her a happy birthday, many, many happy returns. Nino Alafia Ati Aralile. At 60 years, that's a diamond jubilee. I can say I'm a career I do. I should probably be an honorable son, job which is so. Honorable Elijah Mulika, as she seventy. As she eighty, as she ninety, about two hundred ninety-five. If by her, I be long, long, long. We go, we go boarding pass. I am a lazy airport. Go like that. About two hundred. Let it take off. Um, by her. I want to know, Masoni Pa. Elijah Bieni, Elijah Monica. Uh, she's someone that is uh, uh, to have all the way along. Yeah, too much to pay uh, the fear of God. Oh, I didn't know much of man low. She go, my dealing with uh, Elijah, I'll show you pay one if you are alone. So, Mubala Dura, we are alone. The program ended on a dancing note as the celebrant, her children, family members, and friends danced to the music of Ayefele. <laughs>
from Biscon Communications. It's 60 hearty cheers to Honorable Mulikats Akonde Adeola, the very first female majority leader of Nigeria's House of Representatives.